guys, welcome to the second game of the NBA playoffs. And this time, we're about to send you over to the Western Conference. This next matchup is the Phoenix Suns facing against the Minnesota Timberwolves. As far as now, if you've already seen the first game, that was like a big epic of the journey. There was no way that they could have ever answered it right away before, and they were really up to the pressure tight. So, as you've already just seen, that was Milwaukee Bucks' idea that they were really up to it. That pressure didn't really come in at all, and it never really caught on at that point either. As you may have just seen that, now it's time to find out what next game goes. Phoenix Suns or Minnesota Timberwolves? You'll see. The next commentary I will have is Boomer, and he's along with the other commentators as well. As with Fan and Lightball, will be the third commentary of the crew. And of course, it will be David Aldrich here on the sideline here at Target Center. Sorry, Lamps are in between Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, Grayson Allen, Kevin Durant, KD for short, and Joseph Nurkic. On the other side, we have is the Sweet Timberwolves, Mike Conley, Ad Anthony Edwards, J.D. McDaniels, Nas Reed, and Woody Gobert, the tall man. Well, we have no idea what happened with the Carl Anthony Towns, but we'll have to keep an eye on it shortly if he returns to the next couple games. But unfortunately, I have a bad feeling for now. He's out for the, regular, for the rest of the season, and he will not be able to play in for the playoffs for the first time of that one. We've never seen him how he's playing it before, but this was all the end it took. It can never let that happen slow down. Yeah, I mean, I know it's sad enough, but the sign is. But we'll see him again there pretty soon. Now it's time to send you to Minneapolis and get started for the second game. Guys, all yours. See you later. And here they are at Minnesota. It's all turned to be the Wolves and the Suns coming up after this. Hey everybody, we're at Minneapolis, and tonight's game is coverage of the stint of the NBA Playoffs. I'm Boomer, and I'm here with my broadcasting partner, with Fan and Lightball, and David Aldridge on the sideline. It's a great matchup between the second and the seventh seed. Devin Booker is on Mike Conley. Bradley Beal is on Anthony Edwards. Then Shady McDaniels with Grayson Allen. Kevin Durant is also with Nas Reed. And your center guards are Joseph Nurkic and Rudy Gobert. This matchup is going to be taking all for the next one of this level for the part of the game to reach up. You know, it's a great way to say that Frank Vogel on your team as Chris Finch has also been definitely been concentrating with the coachman of his lifetime. That ability might be having it all of it down, but you may never know. You get it all covered. I'm really excited to find out what's going to be like that, but let's say hopefully this will take cut some time. We start things off here as Reed will have it over now again to Edwards. Edward now finds again to Reed, and now he gives to Conley. Conley swings back to McDaniels. On a start drive, it is fouled. Grayson Allen with his first personal foul, and this will be their first team foul for Phoenix Suns. Now, I'm not seeing Dean McDaniels. He was able to finish the drive that soon. But that was a hard one that he's going to take. You never notice that how this happened for Dean McDaniels. If something happens to them, one of the most of the particular ways is what he's tried to get to do it, is the layup scoops it. Sometimes the defender does get onto him, but it doesn't really happen the most of the time. It sometimes gets things in the way. He's got to get over this and done. He missed the first free throw. J.D. McDaniels haven't really been scoring that much here since every postseason. And he really definitely hasn't really caught on for the most sense of every little last of the games. Yeah, I was I was expecting that if J.D. McDaniels was able to do that. It never really had caught on, but don't let that one be. It never really has stayed at the same time. And he makes a second free throw. Only one out of two free throws for J.D. McDaniels. Now here's KD, he will have his own time looking again, and a goal slam dunk puts in for Nurkic. Kevin Durant with his first part of it to assist, coming up with the last night's win against the Minnesota Timberwolves in the regular season. It was a 97-87 game. It was not really what he was to definitely de demanding it if he does more what he takes. How does it really happen to them? 
Well, it sometimes does. I mean, I know that Devin Booker was really like doing for all of his uh, particular way, but for some reason it doesn't really start things off slowly because most of them doesn't really help him out. I know it does, but don't let him get that one fooled out because that one gets over too soon and you definitely don't want him to like leave that one on him like it. Yeah, I just have another dunk here for no catch. That was another take. Now he finds again to Conley. Conley tried to fire it over. He now finds Edwards. Edwards, step back for two. It's good. Anthony Edwards with the first bucket of the night. Going over, back, and under, and back again. That's what they all do. Just keep that one fighting in. I mean, they're just like going digitally big marathon. New circuits find again to Beal. Beal trying to take out a cover for Edwards. Five to shoot. Over with the two to spin the try, and he makes that layup in. Bradley Beal has finished up with the layup. Doesn't know where he was going right now, but he almost made that one too much of a traveling. If he would have overstepped it, that would be in not a good enough way to get this. Now here's McDaniels. He will now find it over again to Edwards. Edwards trying to full, forcefully attack her, and now he gives to Gobert. Gobert up. The two makes it in. Rudy Gobert has his second bucket. Back to the leadoff again, the 7 6 score. Now Beal on Edwards. A screen gives off to Grayson Allen. To lay up in, and that one took too hard. And a reverse drive. Well, there's something wrong with the uh, layup drive that should not be getting into comfortable at that point. It doesn't work that way. They can't let that one get over it, it's too soon. Conley on the outside, now finally getting to Reed. Down to five on the shot clock. Give off to Conley for three. And swish in. That starts off for the first three-pointer for the Minnesota Wolves. It's a 10 to six lead. Here's Anderson around Gobert. It doesn't hit that time. Oh, well, that's really what it happened like that. When Grayson Allen wasn't able to make the drive out there, that would be a hard way to do this for us sometimes. It never really happened to us. That should be like a perfect three-pointer. Or give it off to go moment. On the drive for Mike Conley, it's good. Mike Conley with five points, now a 12 to six game. You know, the limitation doesn't happen to be all for stoppable. They just really wanted to make sure they get that one here as soon as they can. And Devin Booker does it again on a slam dunk. After Gurkic with the assist, and now he finds again to Gobert. Gobert now swings again to Edwards. He now has it over to get to McDaniels. McDaniels tries to find another way to Conley. Conley fades a shot. Now finds Edwards. Edwards to finish the drive. That one goes in. Another basket for Anthony Edwards. No foul call here for the Phoenix Suns. Well, it's still clean right now. I don't know what they could do because of this and happened to most of the people. They've got to get more help. They shouldn't let that one happen here if they keep on going with threes. Back-to-back -back scores keeps going again. Now he finds it again to Reed. We now have it over to get to McDaniels. McDaniels sweets around. Now finds Edwards. Edwards gives again to Reed. Reed on the shot. This one's off the rim. And now it goes back again to Beal. Beal takes his time, now find Booker for the two. And it's rebounded by Rudy Gobert. That'll be his third rebound of the night here with just only 3.13 to go. Conley swings to McDaniels. McDaniels tries to give over to Conley, now finds Reed. Reed now finds Edwards. Edwards trying to give over again to Conley. Four on the shot clock, over with the two. Rebounded again. Edwards. Great ball moving here for the Minnesota Timberwolves as they try to leave up with an open room. It's easy to say, give and go. Effie Edwards, ball stolen. Here comes Booker on a one-on-one -on -one fast break. And Allen, up, two, good. That one stands it up to cut the digit down by two as Booker would be assist. Well, that's what happens now. I mean, it just really needs to be like a, a pure setup motion. It doesn't really maintain it well. All proportionalized, and you don't let that one happen and keep on going. 
they can't let that one get out of here, and there is no way that they can try to slow it down. And Anthony Edwards to finish the drive, and he does it again. Anthony Edwards with his third bucket. That's three for three in the game. Well, he's still really good at it. I mean, just give that one a go. Timeout call by Phoenix Suns with only 2.02 left in the first period. Still a lot of time left in the period as we are looking over it as we get things staying underway. Now, you may have expected right now for the Phoenix Suns and, of course, for the Timberwolves. They were not really that a mature way, but this really way had to maintain it because this was no other way that they've really been trying to step onto. They don't have that one right in coverage. They've got to get that one really in between if they want to get that one overtime. Because of this, they really have done so many attempts to hit that mark and the, and the lineup. They have to make that one stumble it down. I know they did. It's just what happens because Frank Vogel was trying to teach for them. They've got to get this one over and the finishing does happen all. It's not what they always do. If there's a problem with that one, they, they really can't let that happen to go slowing it down. They would never let that one fall down, and they should never get through it from here. Yeah, I've got a lot of feeling with that one here. I may say Timber Wolves, they may not be getting it that much, but hopefully they might be staying in there for sure. You never know. Who never gets it? You never know what's going to be like that. <laughs> well, that's what happens now. I mean, just really keep on there going. With a new substitutional look here in between for the Wolves and the Suns, it's right now Royce O'Neal has checked in. We are nearing a two minute mark here as four players are checked out. A coach E, Eubanks, and Gordon are checked in. Four players also checked out as Alexander Walker, Anderson, and, Mark Clock and McLaughlin are checked in. Hooker start, no good. Anthony Edwards will try to reach it over. He only has his first bucket made of his appearance. Anderson leaving it around. Now have it over again to Anthony Edwards. He now swings it. Anderson toward the middle. The layup drive is good as Anderson has his first bucket appearance in. It's a great way to say that Anderson got that one great wrap around in there. Just really made that one a good call. Every time you get there, you have it done. And here's your banks. Trying to give it over to Rudy Gobert. And he doesn't handle it. He has a rebound and not have it over to get Alexander Walker. Walker tries to give over to McLaughlin. Now have it over to get to Edwards. One minute remaining in the first period. Now McLaughlin will have it over. He now swings again to Alexander Walker. Try to step him down. Upper fade and good. Alexander Walker with his first bucket in is a 20 to 12 game. Just really have to keep that one over it. If you're not going to shoot well enough, just try to give it to others. Or else, if something happens, you know, it, they won't be open enough for anything. And Rudy Gobert slamming away. What a takeover. To stifle it out and give it off to the Suns possession to keep it here. While the clock wind down, you just say that Rudy Gobert swats it. He's like a big wolf town. Just don't try to like mess him up if you can. No way. It's just like you always do. Get it out. Now a coaching has it over again to Edwards with five seconds to shoot. In the middle, he's fouled. And that one starts things off as Rudy Gobert has been tackled. And that was on Josh Okoji. That will be his first foul and a first team foul for Phoenix Suns. Minnesota has their first team foul, and their first trip will be Phoenix Suns. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He is the first free throw. Always say because Josh and Koji really have that one here coming in between. And I know that crashing it down here was is gonna be like a hard one. Everyone's gonna be crashing it all over the side. That's some, someone's gonna get hurt if there is gonna try to be like a one attack or another. We definitely don't want that one to get out of the way. He missed the second. And now it's back over again. It's a 20 to 13 game as they lead by seven. Now here's McLaughlin. McLaughlin now goes over again to Edwards. Try to step it over to Alexander Walker. 
He is going to take McLaughlin for three, and he will have his first three-pointer in. Just 11 seconds to go in the first period. Just say for once, McLaughlin does it all. Booker, over again, and great drive for Booker. He'll have another one as his second bucket. And that one will end and almost made it in. First quarter is come to a close, a 23 to 15 run for Minnesota Wolves. Second quarter on its way next after this. Oh, what you call for Mr. Gobert? You reject the shot, take it out. All right, David, thank you. Thanks for joining us for the first half. We'll be back with the second half. Half time is now on the board. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Some big time action already in this one. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Kevin Durant was on fire in the first half. He had 12 points and one block. He's really stood out for them to this point. Kenny, let's start with you. What did you think about the Suns? It's been an aggressive approach for them at the offensive end. Getting the ball inside and getting as many points as possible close to the rim. So far, so good. They have a nice edge in the points in the paint. How about you, Shaq? What do you think about Minnesota? My advice to them is simple. Start working the ball inside. It's a three-point shot. Time for a new approach. Pause the three-pointer and hunt for high-quality shots. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And if you're just tuning in, we welcome you back here at Minnesota as the start for the third quarter comes on. Kevin Durant has been on fire right now for the first half of the period. As you may already notice, that this gun is not at always a legendary what he does, but some of his effort does happen to be all of them. Yeah, I must say now that, that Kevin Durant must have gotten a pretty, like a like a lot of great effort for him. After coming with playing against the Brooklyn Nets, he realized that his new contract has been really been popping in there. There's a lot of bunch of new changes that they can't really get that one faced on with that. And I won't know. You may never notice how easy to get a handle at that point. Yeah, I have a lot of them to do, but they but you can have to go out. Fade a shot as we start off in the third quarter as Conley's on Booker. Ben Reed, he's on Kevin Durant. Then it's Royce O'Neal, he's on Anthony Edwards. Then Rudy Gobert on Nurkic. And finally, McDaniels on out. The first shot doesn't hit the mark. Well, shooting is not great enough, but you don't get it up that well because you have to make sure you get that one target in right. And now here's Nurkic. Try to hold on into the layup. Good for Nurkic. Your team is back up by six. Seven minutes to start in the third period. Now give it over again to Edwards. He now has it over again to Gobert. Gobert swings again to McDaniels. With the reporter for David Aldridge, he has to talk to Frank Vogel. This one keeps on coming. We have to start getting back into it if there is another way to get that one slowing down. They cannot let him go out. We cannot lose here. If we do this, we're going to need to try to go with the backup plan to have it all. Yeah, it's just really hard enough to do. I never know what happened now because they really can't leave that one pressured up. And Conley in the middle. Oh, what a drive bait. That one just started off the consistent way. And it was Edwards with the assist. Oh, it's great Edwards. They just really say what you can definitely do now. Just show them what you got. Get it going. Now Allen on McDaniels, stands it back, try to look for some more room, try to give over with the shot, nice D here, and a rebound puts up for McDaniels. He decides to give down to Conley, 
He wants to give to Rudy Gobert with the finish. No, that one stops short. Oh, that short needs to go with the harder take look, and that one may not be the perfect way to make the choice. Now here's another one for Allen. He now finds it over to get direct. Direct for three. Another triple range made. And it's now a 44-35 game. They're losing tempo. They don't want that one to keep on coming. Now here's the pass to Cully. And a three just for McDaniels. Good. Range outside puts up. It's a seven points for McDaniels. A 44-38 score. While you're going to keep on coming down, don't let it get away. Kevin Durant on Reed. Give a back pass to Allen. McDaniels watching him. Now he finds Nurkic. Nurkic facing on him. Three seconds to shoot. Up to shoot. Denied by Gobert. And that turns over to a shot clock violation. You turn over to Minnesota ball. Well, that was how it takes all. You just take all with the with defensive the settling. Give me that ball. You're never going to get attacked over. You're going to get hurt. Well, just don't take over a defensive if you can. Four players shut out. That's four players shut in as Rudy Gobert sits out. Now he's re. Now try to give again to Conley. He now has it over to get to Alexander Walker. Here's Conley on the outside. Step in the mound to lay it up and no go. Durant with another rebound. Now have it over to get to Gordon. Gordon trying to step it in. Trying to go with the back stepper. Now find Booker for two. Rolling in and out. And he will have it all. As that was Nurkic. With the rebound, he has 10 points. Only had one of it, but only just to put back, he does. And Reed. Fade the shot. Trying to go back. What a great D by Nurkic. Yeah, there's a lot of defenders that they're trying to like have able to handle it all. I was not too sure if he, if he was trying to succeed it or is he trying to take the ball. What is the choice with him if he, if he can get that one over? Oh! Unbelievable. That one turns to be like it's a big on take. Another spread, throw down, does have it all. And another miss by Minnesota. Well, they're shooting really well out there. I mean, this is not what they do. They've done it too late. Not an easy day for them. He's to rank up with the shot. Good D here by Reed. Mike Conley with another rebound, now find Alexander Walker. And Conley. Here's another three for Alexander Walker. Tries it, but doesn't have able to handle it. And that turns over to Phoenix Suns ball. Here's a take a look here as the standing comes in for elite leaders for the three pointers. They are really on the top. Right behind for Timberwolves. They are in first place. Well, they say now three pointers are doing a lot much harder than the Timberwolves. Maybe this is not what they really do. All they have now is nowhere to leave out. And because of that one being leaves behind, there's no way to attack it and defend it yourself. And Booker, and he slams it again. Another jam down here for the Suns as another breakdown comes in. Yeah, it's pretty like a devastation. Like, I don't know what to tell you now, but they don't like that one messing up everybody. And Conley tries to roll over. He fires out again to Alexander Walker. Alexander Walker for a shot. That was no good again. As Alexander Walker is already on cold right now, he might be sitting out, and he couldn't just able to handle it off. Yeah, pretty hard now. It's nowhere to get there. The layup doesn't get there. Good defensive tackling here for Edwards. Alexander Walker gives it off to Edwards. Edwards, moving middle, layup, and good! Edwards with five in a row now. Oh, he's been so good now. I know he's been playing defensive subtle, but let's not make that one too much work. Time up called by Phoenix Suns with two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Coming up later will be tonight as we have the Celtics and the Sixers that will be happening here in Boston later at 7.30 p.m. here at for the next part of the game. Following along with a 9.30 game as we will be seen on the other side of it for the Denver Nuggets. And they are facing against the Golden State Warriors of the Warriors. We seen that one pretty much of it and there was not even a chance that there was in there. Just for in between the those two, we never know what could happen right now. 
Yeah, I just really say that um, the Denver Nuggets have really been better too. They've really been like going in there with the like that. They've been like pushing in for the great moment that they have took some time with their space, and this one really has gotten like a great look. It's not what they always do, but to say for yourself, it's a great accomplishment with his goals. I mean, he's like amazing right now. Give a credit to Nikolai Jokic. He's been like a price pressure to him. All of his heart and dedicating believing for himself and he won the finals MVP. That's what he has done here for most of the time. Just like the uh, NBA 2K23, the last part of the year of the season. He's doing great, but that's all he's been doing a long ahead. Now with a new line, should listen to change. As right now, all five players are checked out. All five players checked in. As your banks, O'Neal, Koji, Gordon, and Beal are checked in. Stolen by McCaughlin. Here comes Alexander Walker. Decided to give to Anderson up with the shot. And what a great shot made. And it's Alexander Walker. He finally makes an answer without doing some shots. And he said, here, you give it a go, Anderson. And he does. And he's fouled again. McLaughlin has his first personal. And their first team foul puts up for Minnesota. The next free throw will be coming in for the Phoenix Suns as they will add another trip to the free throw line. You know, the same for Bradley Beal. He was really like playing it since he has done the Washington Wizards. But his next season comes near. He now has his uh, guard in position, now playing for the Phoenix Suns. He's really eager to do this one here. The contract, they're all over it right now. Chris Paul left, now it's Bradley Beal's turn. He makes the first free throw. That's because what they do for now, and, and what Bradley Beal should be able to do, is like, give them all with their response. That's what they don't do. They can't let that one happen yet, and that's no way that they really are trying to like, leave it over. Try to offend it. Second free throw gets in. They're back up by 10, and now he has it over again to McLaughlin. Now here's another one for Alexander Walker. Walker will dish it over back to McLaughlin. Great ball moving for the Wolves. Morris try to answer for some help. Here's another one for Reed. Reed tries to answer it in. Now gives it to McLaughlin. Give and go look with the shot. And good. McLaughlin has another two. And after a read with the assist, it's now back down by eight. Well, it's great look. Give a go moment here to McLaughlin. Give it a shot. Beal finds again to O'Neal. One minute remaining in the first. Tries to answer it in. Looking inside and a double defender. Good take here by Anderson. Anderson's got his fifth rebound of the night, now giving it over again to Reed. Reed finds McLaughlin. Over now again to Morris. Over with the layup, and shot's good. Morris does it again. Monte Morris, I don't know what you can call that one, but Mor Mor Morris, or whatever you call that <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean, I kept mistaking the names. Hey, that's okay. I mean, that everyone has a hard time. Oh! And Ubanks does a draw down with the silence the crowd in Minnesota. Well, that's what no one does now. I can't never believe it. McLaughlin try to slow it down. I find Alexander Walker. Alexander Walker. Is again the free for McLaughlin. Out of time, gives it back. Three to shot. Now finding Anderson. Five and a shot. Anderson, McLaughlin to do it again, and he does it! Makes the three-pointer, and that ends the third quarter. Well, that's what you do, because the boss beater, no worries, no feelings. You won't have to worry about it. Hey, just wanted to make some noise out there. Keep that one coming alive, do it again. And we've come to the end of the third quarter. Three quarters complete. We're down to the final quarter in game two. Be right with us after us. And let's have a moment to reveal the State Farm Assist of the game. Now the phrase catch is that it does happen to be like the Phoenix Suns. 
all it has to go with is to go ahead and get the slam over right by Durkett. After Kevin Durant, he finally got that one year cut and off. It's great enough that when he gets that one passed over it, he does it all for the best. We start with quarter number four and we are ready to go. We start things off, here's Conley with a drive, denied by Nurkic. Nurkic, find Allen, up at the layup, and good. And another assist puts in for Booker. After Nurkic, he just tried to defend that block, and this says, uh-uh, it's mine now. Oh, he's been like a dominant on the crossing right now. It's just not a great feeling what he does, but that was like too much for him. He just can't let that one get away with it. Ball's loose. Tries to get in. And we deny by Gobert. He got two blocks. Made that one slam it in. Oh, that's what you can't do with Gobert, guys. That's where you take the two blocks. That's what it's a great one. I really like that one here. That one turned to be like a deflector. Now who's Allen? He will have the ball now give it back again to Booker. And Nurkic in the middle. Good defender on the Gobert. Allen. With no choice, the three misses. Up with the shot, and a rebound puts back by, by Kevin Durant. He's got 19. Five rebounds and two off the rebounds, but turn to be great as he can. And here's Edwards. Edwards, up for three. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Edwards has 13 points, bringing it back down by six. Here's Booker. The screen for Allen. Driving it toward the middle. Now finding Booker on the outside. Again to Allen. Booker, the deep three. It's good! Booker does it again. 61 to 52. Well, that one give a crowd silent out there. Might be doing it again. Can he dish number three? Yes, he does. There's a fight back in between of Booker and Edwards. Ball takes one way. Show him what you got. Try to keep your man on it on a great side. There you go. That might be one way, but let's face the fact of it. The screen puts up for Nurkic. He defended it. Tried to give over, and he's fouled. Rudy Gobert with his second personal. We are under six minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. It is a 61-55 game. Not even a close call does turn to be for Grayson Allen after playing with the Bucks. Well, it seems like it's now what happens to be the mid-range scoring breakdown. Fast break points, got a little bit, but the range of that one turned to be, well, turned to be a little different. Grayson Allen hits the first free throw. And you know, that's what Grayson Allen has been uh, keeping an eye on instructions. He's been really like keeping on it for a while. For some other times, it may not be like your day or you want because Grayson Allen keeps that one at the right timing to do for some more uh, courtesy to do for his career to go with the higher points. The second free throw doesn't stand in as this one misses again. Now he finds McDaniels. The ball's loose. No tip over here. Gobert. Here's another one for Edwards, and it's off the rim. That one ends his streak, and now it's Booker with the ball. He finds it to Durant, and it's denied by Gobert. And another foul call. This time, it went on James McLaughlin, as this one caught him up with the foul. He makes the first free throw in. Bradley Beal really wanted to be happy enough if he made their team into the playoffs. Well, I might be saying so. What do you expect? Is this going to be happening? 
I don't know. I mean, are you going to answer that one here or not? <laughs> I would, I would not. <laughs> don't try to ask that one here because Bradley Beal's been working really hard off of that. Well, there might be one way to the little change off differently. I may never know when you can definitely try to ask that. But let me tell you, give that one a go, give it a try, and then see what he does. That might be what he can do. I, you may never know what you can definitely try to stop one. Unless it's Mike Conley's true in that statement. Oh my gosh. That might be one way that can be a change up in between. You know, you never just expected it right now. <laughs> That's a tricky, that is a true thing. I mean, don't take a risk in it anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh. Turn to be like you all know it for. Yeah, I know. It was, it was like what they just say. I mean, they never feel like they're on the move again. Oh boy. Not what they all chanted, they can't say it down. Now McLaughlin now has it over again to Edwards and now trying to give over again. Give again to McLaughlin. And McLaughlin trying to like answer down. Mike Conley for the two. And a rebound. Give it, go for Gobert and now back to McDaniels. And does it again. What a great pass here by Gobert. As Gobert has his first assist here, give it off to McDaniels. Yes, that's McDaniels' idea. Wants to go for it, said, okay, I'll do it again. And Nurkic, up with that one, tries to go in reverse, but that one stops it again. 15th rebound here for Rudy Gobert. And here comes Edwards with a shot, and good! They're back down by three. 18 points for Anthony Edwards. They're just looking in to tie it or take it two. Here's Bradley Beal. On uh, McLaughlin, no good. And Edwards decided to give it to Conley. Conley now finds it again to McLaughlin. Here's Edwards on the outside. Give again to Conley. Conley with no room to surround. Now has it again. McLaughlin to tie it again. Rebound puts in for McDaniels. Mike Conley on the open look. Trying to lose some more time, but the shot clock's winding down. Ah, he's got to get there. Anthony Edwards, McLaughlin to tie the game. No, can't end it. Hold on. Oh, but it had that good timing out there. Last touch went on McLaughlin as ball lay leaves the court as the Phoenix Suns will have their possession. Now Reed will check in for McLaughlin as Anthony Edwards moves over to shooting guard and now they're back into the starting five. Now, Kevin Durant. Take the two. The cheer jump puts it in. Timeout call by the Minnesota Wolves with 3 or 9 to go in the fourth quarter. There's a lot of great move, movement out here. I mean, Anthony Edwards has got 18 points, but sometimes they're really hard starting to struggle it in there. They, they need to get this thing going down before it's too late. Well, I have a lot of them, and there might be one of them. I, I've got to tell you that the Minnesota Wolves are getting a little bit hard on that one. A little bit of a cheat off statement, but it's not going to happen like that. I, I know what you're thinking, because this happens like there's no way that they can't find a room, and it's no other way that they cannot even try to like get that thing fixed off. They really are trying to like, like go over with their plan, and it's not what they really are, you know, like getting communication. There's nice strong communication out there for offense. I mean, they just got to pick it up. That's all they care for. And yeah, I never really know what they could definitely do, but they really got to like keep on trying. That's what they all have to do. Get that separated in between. That's all that counts. Change up, and now we present your new balance player to game, Kevin Durant. While well, Kevin Durant has been one of the better players of this one, the legend doesn't quit. It doesn't really happen to one of them, and you know he does it for real. I can say Kevin Durant is like fantastic. He's ready to bring things on. He strikes his game for the first. That's what he does for most. Ever living at all. Well, he's looking for more of him as we have David Aldridge has more. In fact. He's been one of the better of this play in the guard ever since he was done most of the time. 
He's been talking to one of them as a, as a approval of his lifetime experiences. But sometimes Kevin Durant does have it all down when he re-videotapes it and does it for her own back in 2012. Well, you may never know when before he gets drafted in 2013. That one starts off from here. And you're not going to let that one happen if there is another change. That one switches off tightly. Because that one really doesn't happen to most of it here, Kevin Durant, if he does it for most of his time. That's what they all do. They can't let them mess up on. Here's another one from McDaniels. McDaniels tries to look for more room. And Conley for the deep three. No, that one stayed out. Booker, one on one, and good. Booker finishes the layup. And they're trying to look for an over. No wasting time on the court. Down to two minutes remaining. And he almost lost that ball. And they're going to call a jump ball. Right between Booker and Conley. Oh, don't take that one defended over you. Minnesota wins. They still claim their ball. Now has it over to get to McDaniels. McDaniels gives again to Reed. And Edwards. Will he try to stop the arc? Over to Rant. And he caught him that time. That one loses the point streak, and he has been out of here. While well, they were just really trying to let, let him go at that point. They really can't let that one go by. And Booker trying to hold up. Stepping up into Nurkic to Booker. Off the rim. Now has it over to get Marie. Time wasting down. And Edwards to finish the arc. No block here, and it's Edwards with my number two. No problem. And the clock keeps winding down with a one minute to go. And it looks like they're going to need to get the one scored, and they miss it again. Conley on Booker with the try. Off again. Another one. Good. Booker does it again. As it goes back up with the two. Here's another one. McDaniels. Gives to Conley. We'll finish it off with that drive. Mike Conley has 11 points. 72 67 to score. Looking to trail him up by two. Well, there might be a change off in here. It could be going up with a loud one. And that one will cause a personal foul on Anthony Edwards to stop that play with just 44 seconds. And a foul. That will be a backcourt violation. And turns it over to Minnesota. Well, I think the problem was that the foot was punched out of bounds. I think that went cross that line right around on the other side. I think that's a big problem. They can't let that happen there, and they do not want to let that one get right by him. Mike Conley has to try to figure something else out. Now he passes over to Reed. Reed's got to switch it. Time winding down with eight seconds. Tries to go with a different motion. McDaniels up for the three. That one is way off the mark. And it now turns over to the Phoenix Suns ball. Well, that clock rushing over. I think that the line of defensive players, they are just grabbing themselves and they are going to wrap it up for the win. I guess they're going to have to do that. I mean, that's it. No can't do. Now the foul falls on Minnesota, as Mike Conley will have his first personal foul. He is the first free throw. Do you know what you ever feel like when you hear the background play when you, you just feel like you don't stop? It's just like when you just really would like to like keep that silent down. I mean, the radio never really like, like keeps on going. I mean, this is like a change on Like, it's for real. And now he's McDaniels. He will try to figure his best thing out. And now Reed. Up for three. Get it? It's good. They're back down by three, and they need to call some timeouts if they can. 
Now Edwards will have to call timeout, but the, but the sports still foul. And now Bradley Beals at the free throw line, shooting two. First free throw. The ball is still standing right now because Bradley Beal has been really been constipating it on his free throw. Most attempts occurred his practice and for his game time. And he makes the second free throw. Second to last timeout will be called by Minnesota Wolves. They have to talk things over if they can get it done. Well, there's no other way, but they don't have a lot of time right now because they only have seven seconds. If they make the three pointer, then they need to call their final timeout because there's no other way that they can't let that one happen if they can try to like take the steal out of it or not. Which is great on that one news. It doesn't really happen the most of it. And it's a quick off play, but they can't let that one leave. That's a hard one, but they are not gonna let that one go down. No timeouts were given here as for the for the Suns, as right now we will have another one. And now Reed's in the corner. Now finds again. The three for, Mc, for Conley. Good! Now they have to call their final next timeout for the Phoenix Suns with 1.2 seconds. Either take the steal or end it here. Well, they're doing a lot of big players, but this could be a little hard work on that. Well, let's face it back. If there's another place, then they've got to kick that full court trap to have it pressed on. They do not want this one to get away with that because they do not want that one to get over it and finished. Both teams have one timeout left to remain and this one comes down toward the wire. And the foul will not take here. Anthony Edwards has his third foul and now Bradley Beal will close it off with the free throw. And a song never keeps on stopping. <laughs> I, I would never say so if I, if I were taking it over from you. Nah, no worry about that. And he gets the first free throw. So that ends the game here as the Phoenix Suns will take their win trip at home facing against the Minnesota Wolves. As they now, Bradley Beal looking to find out if they can get another win in game two. Yeah, it's just a lot of pressure here, but they don't have enough time to do this. I mean, that's definitely it. They can't let that one fall down because that one slows it off. And that's what they don't really just try to keep on working it all between. They don't let that pressure, they can't let that one get away from them. Yeah, I know. It's really kind of a tough loss for them. But we'll see them back again there pretty soon for the next game. As the teams all rise up, this will be the last one for the Wolves. And no shot given. That ends the quarter here and it ends the game. 77 to 73 is our final score for the, for the game two of the NBA playoffs. We hope everybody's having a fun night here and we go down to David Aldrich for the player of the game. Hey Dave. Katie, how were you able to hold them off at the finish? Uh, this team plays extremely hard. We talked about it before the game. And, you know it's going to be a game. They're going to play hard on both ends of the floor. And they came out and hit us in about 30. But I like how we, uh, we stood the storm and kept up. That yeah, was a tough one, but you got the W, man. Thanks. Back to you. All right. Thank so you so much, David. And that's going to wrap it up, folks. With me, Boomer, along with Fan and Lightbulb, this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports with David Aldridge. See you later, everybody. All right, Boomer, thank you so much. And that one will be returning to wrap it up here. Well, as I mentioned it before, I mean, there's a lot of, like, a, a desperation here for the first guy. And I know that there was a lot of, like, a big in-between there. You're never going to like that one in-between. Well, <laughs> I, I know it does. But let's face it. We have another one to take over here. We got a game coming up soon. The Celtics and the Sixers. Here at Boston.
and then the Nuggets and the Warriors at mile high. Here's how he did with the total statistics. 50 over 49 for, was really close right now, but it was only 31 right in between the free throws. Then it was the three pointers that was 39, only nine, but four. That was going to be like the Suns' idea. I mean, he could have got that one in there. Well, I, I guess he did not anyway. I mean, Vox would change off, not a choice. Fast break points was 12, 44 was points in the paint, and 10 second chance points for the Phoenix Suns. Bench points was only 18 and 26 assists was for Minnesota. They did really well, but things got pretty, really, really bad. And with that one here, with the miscommunication, because there was an offensive rebounds and defensive rebounds and three steals, that turned to be like here for the Phoenix Suns, that turns them all over. Five blocks was performed here for Minnesota Timberwolves. Four turnovers was for the Phoenix Suns, that it was a little close in between. Two team fouls was given here for Phoenix Suns, nine dunks and 12 biggest lead, and time possession was 18-10 for Minnesota Timberwolves. Well, I guess that must have happened here. I mean, that's it. They'll be back soon enough. Then you know it. Time for three-star players of the game, Woodspoonie. All right, thank you very much. Third star, I start things off here for number four, 14 points, Mike Conley. He did really well with 14 points already but only had one rebound, six assists, and only had six out of 12 field goal range. He only made that one two three-pointers and only 28 performances of the effort. He does that one really well at his concentrated time, and he does that one for more of his own. Now on to number two. This one goes over right on the other side of it. Well, I should give it off to Devin Booker because he had 15 points, three rebounds, and one steal. Seven out of 18 and only one three-pointers. Just the two dunks. And for 28 performances. That was like a very close call on the rebound. <laughs> but he definitely did now. <laughs> yeah, I definitely do. And for number two, now we take you on the flip side. Just for now. Because we do have another one taking over for the Wolves. It's Anthony Edwards. With 12, 20 points, one rebound, four assists, 9 and 11 field goal range, two three-pointers, only not 29 performance effort. Did great. He's definitely doing really well with this field goal, and I really appreciate him, and he's never losing it, but I think if that's his perfect choice, he likes that all. And for your number one star for the New Balance player to guy, Kevin Durant, with 21 points, six rebounds, excuse me, two assists, and one block. Yes, not kidding, one block. Nine out of 14 field goals, but it's only that true, and three of three pointers was really been excellent. 25 performance effort and two dogs was the last one to be here. And that's how you can call it the Durant finisher. That's a rock. Alright, well I guess now that's it, pretty much it. If you enjoyed this game, please give us a like button, subscribe to his channel, and, subs and also follow him on the social media here. We're going to have tons of more in between for the NBA and the NHL. And with that being said is, peace out folks for a while as the NBA uh, playoffs on 2K Sports style. This is Terry Cruz, and this is Wood Spurney. We'll see you all later here for tonight's game, as we'll wrap things up to cl close it off and give someone else for another pregame show. Until next time, goodbye. Bye bye, everyone. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.